Working with fish of any kind can be a challenge if you are not used to the intricate bone structure, reliable methods of preparing the food for different dishes. Learning how to fillet a larger trout is going to be different than working with scallops. It all comes down to the types of tools you have available and your comfort level. That is why we have put together the differences between a fillet and a boning knife. Now, let's start the video to better understand. Differences between a fillet knife and a boning knife. In spite of their similar shapes and sizes, there are several points of difference between fillet knives and boning knives. It's important to keep an eye out for these differences to make sure you use these knives to their fullest potential. Purpose. As their names might imply, boning knives are especially designed for separating meat from the bone, that means cutting through sinew, muscle, fat, and connective tissue. If you're looking for a knife to perform fine cuts of butchery for bone and pieces, you need a boning knife. It's a tough job, but the boning knife is specifically designed to get it done. Meanwhile, a fillet knife is meant to be used to separate meat from bone and skin, especially for fish. As its name implies, it's a great choice if you love to prepare and eat fish and if that's not you, it might still be a fantastic gift for the avid fisherman in your family. Blade length and weight. Boning knives and filleting knives come in different lengths. Most commonly, you'll find both types of knives in the 5 to 8 inch range. Shorter fillet knives are better for smaller fish, while the longer blades work better with the larger fish. While they come in similar sizes, you'll find that filleting knives tend to be lighter than boning knives due to their design and construction. The blade of fillet knives tends to be thinner than that of boning knives. Which brings us to our next point. Blade maneuverability. Fillet knives are designed to be more flexible. Their blade is supposed to give a little, allowing it to easily cut through fish and separate it from skin. This flexibility allows for the more precise cuts required for more delicate meats. Meanwhile, boning knives are more rigid. They're designed for tougher use, cutting through connective tissue to separate meat from bones. If you attempted to use a flexible fillet knife for that, you'd find it difficult. Worse, you actually run the risk of the blade snapping because it is not designed for such use. Blade design. Both types of knives tend to feature a prominent curve, but if you look closely, you'll find key differences between them. It's more common for boning knives to be straight all the way to the sharpened tip of the blade. This sharpened tip serves an important function, easily piercing the meat. You'll also find less pronounced curves altogether with boning knives. Filet knives have a much more pronounced upward curve, leading to a curved tip. This is designed for long and steady cuts, which is perfect for filleting fish, but considerably less practical for other kitchen scenarios. Which knife should you buy? This will depend on the type of food you are preparing. If you work with a lot of seafood, you will want a fillet knife. If you work with a lot of land animals, you will want a boning knife. Our suggestion is to get one of each. We hope this article on the differences between a fillet knife and a boning knife has been eye-opening for your next buying decision. The major differences are going to be the flexibility, difference in blade length, and the way you are using the blades. Always stick to those knives you're most comfortable with using. That way, you lessen any chance of being hurt while still getting the fantastic food you and your family love the most. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.